one of the first songs. Mike Shinoda is the driving force behind Linkin Park, and along with his bandmates, he has taken LP success and given back, especially with their Music for Relief charity. With the damage and wreckage left behind from Hurricane Haiyan, the band felt they needed to make a difference. Our partner on this one is International Medical Corps, who are a, a very well-established and respected uh, relief uh, organization. They have thousands of members all over the world, and they are first responders. So they were already in the Philippines before the disaster even hit, living there, familiar with the culture, ready to go at any time, and now it's here, and they're, they're already working. They've been working. Um, they're supported by you know a dozen of the biggest organizations you can think of. You can go to their website and check them out. They're very they're, they're excellent. Um, the the uh, so we're working with them. Basically, we're helping raise money. They're going on the ground. They're 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 doing the doing the great job. Um, for us, it's it's just uh, we're 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 trying to figure out how we can make enough noise and 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 activate the fans. Um, we have some partners already. Enrique Iglesias is on board. Um, Foster the People is on board, Steve Aoki is on board, so people are already coming to the table trying to help out and we, we, we hope to get some more artists on board. So if anybody's watching this, they want to get on board, contact us, contact musicforrelief.org. Shinoda says that Haiyan reminds him of the Indian Ocean disaster, which was one of the big tragic events that launched Music for Relief. We found a Music for Relief in 2005, right after the Indian Ocean tsunami, and um, it this thing that just happened in the Philippines reminds me a lot of that. It's, it's a very similar event. It's, it's emotionally, it feels very similar, but even visually you can see what the, the damage that, that has occurred. Um, just some, to give you an idea of the magnitude of this, over nine and a half million people have been affected. Over 600,000 have been displaced, sent from their homes, homes washed away, you know, buildings washed away, places you work washed away. And they've got the death toll currently at 10,000, but that's the very beginning of the cleanup. They don't know, that only counts people they, can, they know are dead. They, you know, there are people that have been washed away, people that are missing. With 600,000 peace people displaced, um, I, everyone expects that number to be a lot higher. He says Music for Relief is still in the early stages of helping those in need in the Philippines. We're at the beginning of a, a, a big effort to uh, help the people of the Philippines and surrounding areas. Um, and I would say also that um, definitely go to musicforrelief.org and, and help out. Keep in mind that historically Music for Relief's overhead has kept our, uh, the money flowing through somewhere between 90 and 100 percent. So if history is any indicator of how we can work this time, we want you know, uh, the vast majority of the money to flow through. Everybody's always worried about how much, you know, if they give a dollar, how much of it goes to the cause. A very, very high, high percentage goes to the cause. For those who want to contribute, you can go to musicforrelief.org. Meanwhile, this Tuesday, November 26th, Mike Shinoda and Chester Bennington will join Steve Aoki to perform their latest single, A Light That Never Comes, on Jimmy Kimmel Live on ABC TV. It's off of the band's latest effort, Recharged. Waiting for a light.